Oh, I didn't go to the flea market this week. I just wanted to show you how good I look today. I'm gonna hop some tags. Only got twenty dollars in my pocket. I'm, I'm looking for a come up. This is fucking awesome. Nah. Wanna kiss myself? I'm so pretty. Hey everybody, Greco Fabulous here, and welcome to yet another exciting episode of Spidey Sense, the series where you get to be my co-pilot as I raid America's thrift shops, yard sales, and flea markets. Look at that. I'm so big time. I don't even got to do my own intros. I'm so big time, I don't even All right, to shut up. Intro. So even I got bored watching my last video, so I'm not wasting any time. Let's go to the flea market. Man, I love going to the flea market. There's literally no better feeling than the hunt. And I can speak from experience. I mean, I've gotten married, I've had kids, gotten promotions. I pretty much conquered life. And I'm telling you, there's nothing better. I mean, seriously, where else are you gonna find a sexy little robot like this guy? Hey buddy, what's your name? Emilio, is that his name? Emilio? I was like, Emilio! 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 <laughs> the club is closed, folks. What does this guy do? Uh, well, I don't have the clicker for it. Oh, really? We got out of the house. That's so real, uh, kind of an intro. I had it in my bar, actually. I put it in my bar. <laughs> I, mean, I looked online, and it's like, uh, $195 online at the foolish thing, but we don't have the clicker for it. So. Oh, bummer. That's not nice decoration, so it is. Yeah, yeah ro robots are cool. No remote control, no sale. Suck it, Wally. You belong in the scrap heap. So then I found this guy selling comic books outside. He had the magical price of 50 cents a piece. But unfortunately, my comic book price guide app wasn't working, so I lost interest. I'm not a collector, I'm a rip for this hobby. You want everything? <laughs> no, not really. No, make me happy right now. <laughs> Buy the whole collection? This guy obviously has no idea who he's talking to. So as per usual, I wasn't sealing any deals outside. So let's see if I have some better luck on an indoor field. So one of the first vendors I came across actually had some of those arcade marquees. Now I know you can't see it because I'm a big dumb doo-doo head who didn't point the camera in the right direction, but you're just gonna have to take my word for it. He also had some G1 Transformers that I was interested in, and then it clicked. He's a businessman. We're all talking money here. Let's see if we can work out a deal. Are you interested in getting more of these by chance, or? The, um, the marquees? <laughs> yeah, because I have some. And, you know. Okay. Anyways, the reason I'm asking is I'm interested in one of the Dinobots over there. Yeah. So I don't know if, um, if it's oh, worth like it to you. Yeah, if that's um, worth it to you at all. Trade's fine. I can do trades. And so for a Popeye arcade marquee and 10 bucks, I came away with Slag, the Triceratops. He is in, in really good shape overall. His, uh, his horns are connected, which he had two of these figures and you know, one of them was missing a horn. Uh, the only thing is this is missing a little like protective little circle, but I don't care about that. And then you can kind of get a little glimpse of him in robot mode right there. And then secondly, we have one of the worst designed G1 toys, and that is Ratchet. This guy, you might remember, is turns into an ambulance, and in robot mode, he his little trunk turns into like a little base. There's a This would shoot out missiles, but that's missing. And the reason why he's one of the worst designed toys is because they didn't give him a face. Like literally, they just give you gave you a sticker that you put right over here. How are you not going to give a motherfucker a face? So with $10 left burning in my pocket, I moved on to my next conquest. So I know that I usually tease you comic book guys, but I actually threw down for once. But I'm starting to feel like karma is coming back to bite me in the ass. So by now you should all know about my botched Craigslist deal, where I missed out on a ton of key issues. I mean, I've complained about it enough, so if you haven't heard about it by now, then you obviously haven't been watching my videos. Which means you fail at the internet. But seriously, this guy was like the same deal. He literally had runs of all the same titles with the key issues missing. So somebody totally raided his collection already. There's only one person to blame for this. The Illuminati. I'm just not meant to have the first appearance of Mr. Sinister, the first apocalypse, the first cable. These are books that are not meant to be in my possession ever. Now if you think that this is as big a travesty as I do, and you want to kind of put the world right back up on its axis, feel free to send them to me as a random act of kindness. Hey, who knows, I might just end up liking you just a little bit more than I already do, which is not at all. So for the lofty price of $2, I came away with 
X-Men number 61, horrible condition, but it's Silver Age, baby. X-Men number 251, Wolverine getting crucified. X-Men number 222, an early Wolverine Sabretooth cover fight. And then Spider-Man number two, because me and Todd McFarlane are like homeboys. Did I mention that I met him? By the way, total disclaimer, I knew nothing about those X-Men books. Tecosta DC Comics totally filled me in. I have the Twitter messages to prove it. I don't know everything, I just do it better than you. So other than that, nothing really caught my eye. Again, I don't have the camera footage, but down here by my feet, I did come across a My Buddy. I had some fond memories of playing with My Buddy. I don't know why that sounds so perverted. Now the guy was asking $10, which isn't a horrible price, but it's one of those things that I just don't need. Because realistically, there's only two possible outcomes. One, it's either crawling in bed bugs, or two, it has the soul of a serial killer. Hi, I'm Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. Heidi ho <laughs> So either way, the juice just ain't worth the squeeze. So I just walked away on top, baby. Two G1 Transformers, some cool X-Men books, and six dollars in my pocket. You're damn right my spidey sense is tingling. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, motherfucker.